the Airbus A350 Freighter, a potential concept from Airbus to break into the freighter market, a market currently dominated by Boeing. What would it look like? What will the performance be? Is it a good idea? Well, before we find out, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and check out the brand new One Sky Fly Instagram page, link to which I've left in the comments below. Be sure to check it out and follow. So most recently, it was reported that Airbus has taken one step further in its freighter study, with the A350-950 freighter model designation popping up. It has also been no secret that Airbus has been gauging market interest in a potential A350 freighter, and most recently, they have briefed suppliers on what it could be like. So what will it be like? Well, it would be based off the Dash 900 with a 280-ton max takeoff weight. Engine thrust should stay at 84,000 pounds from two Rolls-Royce Trent XWB84s. Estimated performances, I would say, is around 90 tons of payload over 6,250 nautical miles of range. So that's more range than a 777 freighter but less payload. Expect the payload bay to be 5.86 meters wide and 167.5 feet long, while the current 777 freighter is about the same size, though slightly longer. And expect the A350 freighter's cubic volume to be around 5,000 to 5,200 cubic meters. So all in all, performances is expected to be on par with the 777 freighter, but with more range thanks to reduced fuel burn. You may have noticed that we are comparing heavily with the 777 Freighter. Well, the 777 Freighter will be a significant competitor. The new airframe of the XWB has benefits. A lower empty weight, newer engines, wings, avionics. These reduce fuel burn by 25% but comes at a cost. The main increase comes from the carbon composite fuselage, which while reducing weight also increases maintenance costs and the cost of the aircraft. Also, the higher cabin pressure of 6,000 feet while beneficial for passengers is not really necessary for eggs. Airbus may face tougher competition in the future. While they are preparing their 850 freighter, Boeing has already had demand from Qatar Airways to produce the next 777 freighter based off the 777-8. While burning 12% more fuel than the A350 freighter per trip, it will have higher payload capability by around 10%, a larger cargo hold as well. Also, Boeing has many freighter operators and aircraft already in service. In 2020 alone, despite the pandemic, Boeing delivered 56 freighters. As of today, there are already 202 777 freighters in service with 40 more on order. Many freight airlines such as UPS have pilots and crew trained to operate Boeing freighters. Thus, transitioning to an all-new A350 freighter means airlines will have higher pilot training and transition costs initially. Also, Airbus's current most popular freighter only has 40 in service, being operated with a small customer base. Still, there are benefits for an A350 freighter. It will be the most efficient wide-body large freighter per trip and would offer the lowest fuel burn per tonne of cargo. 
plus the most range. All in all, long term, while there are cost challenges Airbus needs to overcome, as well as the lack of an operator base, the A350 freighter could potentially propel them to finally get a operator base in the freighter market. A market which, while small, is undoubtedly a good market. The A350 freighter will be one of the most efficient freighters if launched. Once again, a final reminder to check out the official new One Skyfly Instagram page linked in the comments below. Until we meet next time, one team, one aviation, one sky ahead.